Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage. Today we're looking at two bags of random die cast and other toy garbage that I got at my local Goodwill for $10.99 a piece. So with tax US, about $12 a piece. Um, I do feel I overpaid a bit. I don't like paying $12 for a, a bag about 15, 20 cars that are banged up because I offer them for a quarter. So, I don't know. To each their own, I've seen at least four interesting items in each bag, so I figured it'd make an interesting find. This first one. A little dusty. Must have been a collector's piece on someone's shelf. But look at that. That is a Zamboni. I am not a hockey fan. I'm not really a sports fan at all. Uh, me being in upper United States, western New York specifically, we are big on hockey. And being in the Buffalo area, the Buffalo Sabres is our team. But, well, Zamboni printed right in there. Made in China, but who made this? Motor Max. This must have been like a promotional item in like, uh, for sale in the hockey stadiums. But anyway, if you're not familiar with what a Zamboni is, <sighs> It's kind of like a gigantic version of those little polishing machines you see in the grocery stores that people ride on. But it's the size of a garbage truck. And it's for polishing and leveling out the playing ice on a ice rink for hockey. Or anything else for that matter. I believe it's named after the person that invented it. So, quite interesting. As I said, I'm not a hockey fan, but I love large, odd equipment. I will keep this. This is quite cool. Put that guy right up there. What's next? This seems to be Lego. Yeah, we got a uh, Lego car. I'm not interested in the car series and but who doesn't have Lego laying around we'll throw this in our Lego pile this looked interesting to me real toy don't know that brand the top is metal though NYPD With a removable top that's still on it. Okay. I'm not familiar with this brand. Could be some cheapo crap for all I know, but um, I'm liking it anyway. I like that. I'm keeping this. This is for me. Oh, I'll put the. I'm keeping over here. Getting rid of over there. Zamboni I'm keeping though. So. Zamboni and everything to the left is mine. And I'm only keeping the Legos because we can put those in our Lego pile. Alright. No name China rig. Probably a dollar store find. Really, really chintzy. But you know, for the heck of it, I collect big rigs. I'll, I'll, just because it's here and I already paid for it, I'll throw it in my big rig collection. There's nothing wrong with that. Ooh, definitely another dollar store find. No name made China. Exotic looking car. 
definitely not keeping that guy. Volkswagen, right? Yep, Volkswagen Caddy. I would be keeping this, but I already own this. And ironically, I've never opened this one fresh. I think I've come across this model four times in this finish. I've always found them loose or used in a random bag. But it is a nice model, though. But it is spared to me. This is a fairly recent casting, isn't it? 2019 Pixel Shaker. So it's like a video game pixelated version of a bone shaker type vehicle. Oh, that is what it is. It's a pixelated bone shaker. Not for me. Faintly familiar. Oh, 92 Ford Mustang. That's why I look familiar. Mustang. This might be too new for my wife. Not quite clear. I'll put it aside for her, but it's definitely not for me. Obviously part of the art series. It's got an O on it. Yep, Hot Wheel Art Cars. I'll put that aside for her. So I'll put it on my side. Oh, I've seen this guy quite a few times. Must be part of a multi-pack. 2014 Corvette Stingray. Like a bronze color, convertible. Matching rims. That'll go on the trade table. A Lucy pile for a quarter. It's uh, Repo Duty. Fantasy model. But I think I have one or two that I've already kept. Because it is a tow truck. I wanted more tow trucks, so. I'm alright with this. I'll hang on to this guy. Oh. <laughs> well, this is kind of Soul Tarrant. Pikes, Pikes Peak Tacoma. Almost something I like. Too razy. I'm going to pass on that. Quite sharp though. Really liking the colors. Put that out of there. It's a Matchbox Porsche 911 Turbo. I really don't like the headlights on this model. They do a decent job tempoing them, it's just... I don't like Porsche's ideas on the headlights. I'm not a fan of Porsche, really, at all, to be honest, so... Who am I to say? But that's for trade. Oh, there's some dusty stuff in here. Hot Wheel Torque Twister basketball theme. So it's probably part of a multi pack. Definitely a track player. Worst finish to find in a loose bag, the chrome. It's going to be all. Nicked up. Not seeing a name on this guy. Mystery model to me. Super Chrome Racing. Batuski. No idea what the model name is though. Looks like a speeder. Alright, uh. Chicane? Chicane? Is this supposed to be like Chicago Hurricane? 
chicane. Looks hot and fast. Possibly glow in the dark tires. In fact, yes, glow in the dark tires. These kind of things, to me, they're only good for playing around the raceway. This is something that caught my eye. I saw one of these online once. I go, ooh, they made that? I want that. I like the odd little equipment. I don't know what... Ooh, no name on the model. And this is different than one that I've seen online. Different tempoing at least, but it was marked as a police vehicle. Perhaps a European style thing, like a, a parking meter maid, parking ticket person. But I don't know, this, this is really cool. I like this a lot. First one, found it loose. I hope to find many more. My 50th anniversary series, Twin Mill. Should have known that. Someone might want to pick that up for the track. And matchbox. Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Not for me. So that'll go on the table. What do we got here? Hot Wheels. No namer again, but it's obviously could have one racer type thing. Not for me. Well, this guy's not for me. Cool fire department theme, though. Crime Crusher. So I'm sure original model is probably more of a police theme. Looks like fun, but not for me. This caught my eye. I wanted this guy. Who makes this? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Volkswagen Beetle. That's all it says. Out of all the Beetles that I own, from Hot Wheels, Matchbox, everybody, I don't have any of this model with a gigantic engine coming out the end. It's a bit tuned and far-fetched for me, but close enough. I'll take it. So I've got focusing issues today. But yeah, this is very cool. Keeping this guy. So we've got one car left in here and some random debris. And some hair. Off-duty. See this model come up in loose bags quite a bit. They're like newer trucks, it's not that bad, but I don't, so I'm going to pass on this guy as well. What do we have here? What in the world? Don't know what this is. Some plastic, rubbery little transforming dinosaur guy. Maybe somebody out there knows what this is. I sure don't. We got a grenade lobbing army man. And a Lego piece to another car. Throw that in with my Legos. And that's the end of that bag. No, keep that 
garbage. All right, second bag. <coughs> well, I think I'll keep this guy. No name. I think that actually might be its name, the Sandblaster. That seems familiar. But yeah, I'll keep this guy. Fancy, but it's feasible. It's like a custom Doom version of a truck. Charles products. Never heard of them. Feels really chintzy. All this seems to have layered. It's not even dust, it's like a powder. It'll come off easily. But yeah, I don't know what this is. But again, big rig. I'll hang on to it for now, I guess. Until I decide I've got too much trash laying around. Just to make my big rig pile feel a little bigger. Move this bag over here. This one I won't be keeping. It looks like it was part of a holiday series. Fast gassing. I like tankers, but it's a tune version and it's a tune version of an older cab. I don't like the older rounded cab. So not for me. Someone else may enjoy that. We got a track star. I feel like something's missing here though. Definitely something's missing from this. But um yeah, I might hang on to this for now. It's uh realistically feasible. It could be used as a hauler. But I'll have to look this up. I'm pretty sure there's something like a top cage area. Missing off the top of this. Yep, caged cargo. There's definitely something missing. Well, I'll have to look it up later. But for now, I'll hang on to it. Future research. Oh my gosh. Voltage spike. It's another track speeder. Quite a lot going on here. This is visually noisy. Track table. No name on this one either. Another F racer type vehicle. In fact, the same model. Two variants of the same vehicle. There we go. This must have became out of the same donation pile. There's the front end for that guy. So yeah. There go my Lego pile. Oh. Look at that. That was unfortunate. I saw this. It's a little larger scale. I saw the tag on it. I thought it was new. It's like Tommy. He's missing a tire. The whole wheel's missing. Oh well. Maybe it could be a donation piece. Nice sizable tractor though. The kind of things they sell in the actual tractor supply stores in my area they actually sell, sell the farm diecast equipment right at the store looks like we got a woody woody disney pixar so got a character car made to look like the woody character 
from the toy series. Look how they put the uh, spurs to look like sparks off the back. The exhaust looks like rope. These things aren't my kind of thing, but I do appreciate the creativity. And it feels like this would be a nice track vehicle, to be honest. But not for me. Ooh, ooh, super cheap China car. Yeah, yeah, that's garbage. It's going on the trade bit pile. Ooh. This will keep it. Even says Jurassic World on it. I wonder if this is part of the Jurassic World series or just promo. So Willie's concept Jeep got a couple of these, so this will be a nice addition. Decent shape, nice color combo actually. Hmm. Nice chrome fire truck. I'll keep this guy fire eater. Shape either, not at all, especially for being a chrome car. Not bad, I'll keep that guy. I will not be keeping this guy. Looks like fun though. Feels like it go down the track pretty good, even with the big tires. Roar by four 2014. Pretty sharp. Oh, we got a chopper. Oh no. Oh no. It's a no name chopper. It looks and feels decent enough quality, but there's no castings on this. No copyrights. I'll keep it regardless. I'll throw it in my pile. Not too bad at all. I would have thought that would have been a matchbox or something. Hmm. Well, keep it in my language. What else we got here? We got five cars left. Four up to this one. We got a Impavito. Not familiar with this at all. Another Hot Wheels race team. Hmm. Some race team collector will be looking for that. It's a bit horrendous for me. Ooh. So it's clear, clear speeder. Yeah. But hard to see in this orange. I'm sure they have other colors, but the seating arrangements. Got a front driver, and then a row of three, and then a row of two. Quite strange. Built for one, but accommodates four. Five, apparently. It's like building a pickup truck that can only hold one brick. Doesn't make any sense. Horseplay. Huh. Not interested in the vehicle at all. The tempo is quite interesting. Another one I don't really care for. Iridium. Iridium. Another track player. 
in the last vehicle for today. Which, if it's not a devil, I'll keep this one as well. We got the Matchbox 4x4 with the Warren logo. Very cool. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you'll join me again soon. Please like and subscribe. And please know you are all so much appreciated. And I hope you all have a very good night.